The flying doctors arrive. A man has been seriously injured in an accident. He needs urgent medical attention. His life is now in the hands of doctors, but also machines. Modern medicine depends on this advanced technology. And behind the machines are the highly skilled technicians who operate them. They are specialists in medical technology. These engineers for life are highly trained in medicine and engineering and are indispensable in modern medicine. They are clinical engineers. One session of hemodialysis lasts four hours. Patients need three sessions a week. The treatment literally keeps the patients alive. So the clinical engineers are not just technicians who operate machines. They work very closely with the patients themselves. The base of all these operations in the hospital is called clinical engineering services. This is the room from which clinical engineers operate. The maintenance and upkeep of all the medical technology in the hospital is done here, and it is one of the clinical engineer's central tasks. Advances in medicine and technology have led to an even greater role for clinical engineers. In the treatment of premature and sick babies, and in the treatment of injuries and diseases by machines. The skills and talents of clinical engineers are vital wherever technology is used. And clinical engineers pass on their knowledge and experience to doctors, surgeons and other health professionals, raising safety standards all around. The patients themselves are often unaware of the work of the clinical engineers. 
but they still get a huge sense of satisfaction from the knowledge that they are protecting and saving lives. Technology and machines are indispensable in modern medicine. The people who know these machines inside out and inspect and maintain them, thus saving lives, are quite literally engineers for life. With all the advances in modern medicine, there is more and more demand for these behind-the-scenes heroes and heroines. Clinical engineers. <laughs>